Horror movie cliches. Oh, there's so many of them. Investigating the strange noise. Who is it? Who's there? Hey, I'm in the kitchen. Want me to make you a sandwich before I chop you up? Why are you asking that question? You hear a noise, you run in the opposite direction. Another classic movie cliche. The fake out. You think they're going to encounter whoever it is or whatever it is they're going to encounter and then, oh, nope. Psych. It's just your friend. Oh, it's just your mom. It's just the cat. Just your shadow. You're crazy, you know, seeing shit that ain't really there. A young, beautiful woman walking home alone in the dark in a creepy looking area that seems strangely deserted. Oh my god, that's so sweet of you. Thank you, though. But it's okay, I really don't need the ride. I'd rather walk home and take my chances with the psycho stalker that's probably lurking in the bushes. A major one. Minorities dying first. It's just the black guy always dies. Think about it, man. Unforgiven, uh, alien, Rocky IV, The Shining. And what about that brother in Jurassic Park, man? Well, that was cool. There was two black guys who died in that one. That was a twofer. He must be really pissed off at that one. <laughs> Tell me, man, the black guy always dies first. I wonder if when they give them the scripts to the horror movies, do they go, don't even bother reading past the first 30 pages. You won't survive that long. The dumb blonde, AKA the slutty blonde. She has the perfect hair, perfect boobs, which are always so conveniently displayed, the short skirt, and the willingness to sleep with just about everybody in the film. Fuck yeah, baby. This is so classy. Come on, like you wouldn't want a piece of that. The person who is running away from the killer and falls. Somebody always has to fall. If it was me, I'd be like, bitch, you can't keep up. I'm gonna leave your ass there. Sorry. One of my favorites, the mirror scare. <gasps> Creepy kids. Come and play with us, Danny. Forever and ever and ever. They're either psychic, satanic, or just weird. Splitting up when you know there's a killer on the loose. See, I would think it would be smarter to kind of stay as a group, maybe all of you against this person. But no, not in movies. You always, you gotta split up. This isn't right. We should split up. Yeah, good idea. Really? When the killer is supposedly dead, but the body vanishes. Why didn't you keep track of that shit? It's your fault they're running around loose and there's going to be a sequel. Sex equals death. <laughs> Ooh, 
There's no signal. Call 911. I don't have any reception. Never, and I mean never, say. Just stay one? here, I'll be right back. I mean, this was covered in Scream, so. So basically, the things you don't say in horror movies. Hello? Is anybody there? We're gonna be okay. We're gonna get out of here. Hey guys, let's check out this rundown house on the corner of the really dark and scary street. Just for shits and giggles. When the car won't start, just when you need it to, when you're running away from that crazy killer who you just left behind and thought you were gonna get away, but nope. Not now! This is more of a Japanese horror thing. But be afraid of technology. Your cell phones, your computers, video tapes, they will kill you. You get a voicemail? Call came in two nights ago. You hear your death? They get in your head, back. And then you die. Have you heard about this videotape that kills you when you watch it? Do not go in attics or basements. Just avoid them like the plague. The, it's okay, we're okay now, everything is settled, the ghost is set free, the killer is done. No, you just made things a hell of a lot worse, actually. Is she still in the dark place? No. You set her free. You helped her? Yeah. Why did you do that? What's wrong, honey? You weren't supposed to help her. It's okay now. She's not gonna hurt you. She... Don't you understand, Rachel? She never sleeps. The dream within the dream, and then it's back to reality? If you think of any, let me know. Leave a comment below.